Hi, Rob Minock here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and we've got Sunday specials for May 15 and 16. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. First up, we're heading to California for a rosé from an iconic producer. This is the 2020 Bonnie Doon Van de Cigar. A rosé wine here. Up front, all those classic rosé notes. Red berry, little hints of red and white cherry, fresh strawberry fruits. As it opens up on the palate, nice, light, peachy notes. Just a hint of florality. Think just a whiff of rose petal, maybe a tick of spice. Firm, round, but juicy palate. Very nice balance on the palate here. 2020, you might be suspicious. But well-made rosé certainly can hold up over that time frame, and this is no exception to that rule. Very, very nice, solid rosé. Next up, we're off to the north of Spain now for the 2020 Val do Sosego Albariño. We're up in the far northwest of Spain here, Galicia. Ria Spicius is the particular area, so these long, Inlets, the Rias on that northwest coast of Spain, brings a very cool maritime climate quite far inland. Albariño, really the signature grape here, a very heady, very floral aromatic grape, and that's going to be right up front, this big blast of tropical flowers. That's going to start to fade a little bit. You're going to start to pick up some really nice stone fruit, peach. Beautiful citrus notes, a very soft, almost Meyer lemon, accented with a nice cut of lime zest. These grapes in this climate, you definitely should find some good acidity, and it's in there for you. So a nice, crisp acidity, good, crisp, tart finish, nice minerality as well. Again, with a very firm, sort of round palate, a very complete, excellent example of a signature grape from far up in Spain. Last up, we're back to California for a repeat performer. This is the 2017 Verada Tri-County Pinot Noir. So here, three counties, we'll think largely Central Coast style here, and that's what you're gonna get. A bit of a light-ish Pinot Noir here, so I gave it about a two out of five, a little bit on the light side for Pinot weight. So not a big full throttle Pinot Noir, but very good depth. A lot of complexity and interest here for the money. Up front, nice sort of bright red fruits, raspberry, red berry and cherry fruits. There's a hint of a smoky meatiness to this wine that will give a slightly darker tone to the fruit, especially on the palate. Good spice. They put a lot of oak on this wine up front, and I think back in the day that might have been driving the bus, but at this age now, this wine nicely integrated. The oak is still there, but very much starting to take a back seat to some really nice, still very fresh fruit up front. The palate texture is gonna show you those warm, soft, silky California tannins. So again, although a bit on the light-ish side for a Pinot, really surprisingly complete, very good value in a California Pinot. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.